get ready with me for my first ever basketball game. So I got invited to a basketball game tonight in New York City, which is super cool. I've never actually thought of going to one, but I've always wanted to go to one, so I'm super excited. Also, I need your guys' help. I am going to Coachella next week and I need to get my nails redone for it. So please let me know if there's any good spots in the city. I keep getting fills on the set and it's getting so ratchet. So I need to get them off completely and redo it. This nail on my pointer finger literally kept falling off during my shoot a few days ago. And we had to super glue it back on just so it would stay for the rest of the, the day. And so yeah, now it's just super glued onto my finger and honestly, I don't even know if it's going to come off. It probably damaged my nail really bad. So yeah, let me know the best places in the city, specifically in Soho maybe. Also, ignore the fact that I'm literally wearing one earring on this ear. This ear hurts so bad, I don't want to put anything in it. I don't know what's wrong with it. Almost out of my Charlotte. I had a fitting with Love Shack today and it was amazing. They brought me home with so many goodies for Coachella. I can't find my little triangle powder puff, so I'm just using my beauty blender. Look who's back! <laughs> okay, I'm running a little late. We were supposed to leave like 10 minutes ago, but what's new? I'm really hoping there's some good food at the game because I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything at all, so fingers crossed. Guys, my poor blush. Ah! R.I.P. This is my favorite shade, too. Also, this new Fenty highlighter is actually insane. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Okay, I already did my lashes from this morning, so I'm just going to recurl them a little bit. Okay, we're all done. Bye, guys. Guys, I was just thinking about the time someone, when I first started doing TikTok, someone called me on no colour ID and was shouting at me because I started making TikToks. So it was like half nine at night, yeah, I was getting ready to go to bed, just brushed my teeth, I was about to go in bed and I get this call off no colour ID. So I answered the call and it was just this girl on the phone shouting down the phone, just random stuff. And at the time, I made TikToks of me like revising, because obviously it's useless to time for me, so like, you don't revise, you don't do this, like, bro what are you gaining from telling me that i don't advise that is that I supposed to be an insult like and also at the time it was when that drink like mogu mogu whatever it's called was trending so i bought some of that i was testing it tasting it telling you all how it was and they were like um you don't like it da, da, da. you think you're this you think you're that like bro shut up anyways just thinking about it, it's kind of funny but glow sp have sent me their guava um serum and their pomegranate firming one and i'm gonna use the pomegranate one I've literally wanted this for so long. It's been on offer on Sephora. And then, ah, Glow SP sent it to me and I was going to buy it because it was on offer for like £28. And I got it. And Glow SP is literally my favourite skincare brand of the whole entire time. And you know, I literally used to have like three things from Glow SP and I used to, it used to be my favourite. And now recently, Jack bought me two Glow SP things. Glow SP sent me stuff. So now I have like a million products for Glow SP and it's literally like a dream come true. Glow Recipe also sent me a refill of the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturiser, but the problem is I never had it in the first place, so I'll have a refill for some of that I don't even have, but I'm just going to use a refill until I order the actual, like, thing. <gasps> that was a lot. Oopsie. Because I've wanted this moisturiser for so flipping long. Do you know what I've also wanted? I've also wanted, um... The sunscreen, the sun cream. And the thing is, I don't have that much glow recipes because there's nowhere in shops for me to buy it. Like, I just love going out and buying stuff in shops. So if, like, ordering stuff just isn't a way that I like to purchase things. If glow recipe was in a shop, which it will be soon in the shop centre, then I'll, I'd have so much more of it. Go. I'm not really doing anything today. I'm staying at home because it's the marathon in Manchester. So I literally can't get out of my house because there's just people running on the streets. Ah! Hey loves, get ready with me. Okay, so my dad's birthday was last weekend and we went out to a restaurant and it was honestly delicious. I posted it on my Instagram. So today my dad is actually doing a party. We're throwing a party at my house and my mama has been making pizzas all day. I'm literally so excited because my parents' pizzas are so good. They make Brazilian style pizzas and for those who don't know how that's different, I'll show you a picture. This is an example of one that my family makes. That is a chicken one and like the little stripes you see on it is called catupiry. It's a type of cheese and the dough is like generally just just more um, like fluffy. It's more like a bread type of dough than like a crispy pizza, like thin one. But the main difference is the toppings because Brazilian pizza has so many toppings on it. Literally, that is just one example. That's a chicken pizza. I'm pretty sure my mum made sweet pizzas as well. And that is just, that is just as yummy. Like it is just, oh, it's delicious. But anyways, yeah. So we're having lots of guests 
over and they're supposed to be coming over now but knowing as we're all brazilians they will probably not start arriving until like at least half an hour later i don't really want to do like much makeup to be fair because i'm probably going to be like in my room for a lot of the time as well because i've been revising all day i've been doing an english literature day today i am honestly so worried for my gccs because i feel like i haven't been revising enough i feel like i've just wasted this whole week so i am really just aiming to improve my revision time for next week i'm indecisive of whether i should put concealer on this spot because i do want to cover it but it's quite new it's quite fresh so i don't know if it's gonna like trigger it or make it worse but let's just let's just try because it doesn't look too like raw it doesn't look like concealer is actually gonna get like under my skin i feel like there's quite a nice protective barrier of skin <laughs> over it i don't know anyone else's mom's just put their beauty blenders in the washing machine my mom always does this and like on a random day i'm just trying to find my beauty blenders and i go and ask my mom like oh have you seen my beauty blenders she's like yeah i put them in the washing machine they needed a wash <laughs> I honestly didn't know you could do that, but I mean, no wonder my beauty blenders are always clean because my mom just randomly puts them in the washing machine. But like, my mom is low-key smart for that. Like, honestly, if it doesn't damage the beauty blenders, I think that is a really good hack. Oh my god, my newest obsession right now is Beyonce's A Cowboy Carter album. <gasps> I love it. I actually love it so much. I've been listening to it non-stop. I know I said news obsession, but to be fair, my obsession with Beyonce is not new like i've <laughs> i've always loved beyonce i've literally always been the biggest fan i oh i love that woman honestly i feel like my followers and like friends are probably really annoyed that all of their for you page is just my reposts about beyonce <laughs> but i cannot help it she's just she's just amazing i have been thinking that i really want to do a giveaway soon because i have not done a giveaway before and i just really want to i just really want to show some of my appreciation to you guys so you guys let me know if that's a good idea because i am definitely considering it i low-key think that I want to change into a gold jewelry i don't think this silver is really doing anything for me okay i changed to gold and honestly i don't know you guys let me know does gold or silver look better i'm gonna go downstairs now and socialize i love you guys so much and i hope you all have an amazing So this is my friend Emma's birthday party. It's kind of like a pool party. Um, and I'm so excited because I literally love pool parties and I love swimming. It is at the end, but I'm wearing this super cute bathing suit from Bright Swimmer. They sent me two beautiful pieces and I'm literally so grateful. And they're literally like the best high quality bathing suits I think I've ever had. Since it's a pool party, I don't want to do that much makeup because like there's no point in like wearing so much if I'm just gonna like swim. Definitely want to look bronzo. So I'm using my Frilliance bronzing glaze. But speaking of Frilliance, they're coming out with a new product. And it is in Toe Patches and Not Now, which is like a cute little bow. And I know bows have been such a trend lately that like these are going to sell out. I have willow bark, tea tree, and hyaluronic acid in them. So they were going to help your acne as they're like protecting it basically. I wear pimple patches to go to bed because I feel like that's when they do the most like work. And they have definitely helped me out like the past couple of nights. So go check it out because they just dropped today and i know you guys are gonna love a nighttime party kind of so i'm not gonna put sunscreen on because it starts at four but then it ends at 10 so there's like no point in putting sunscreen on for a nighttime party i'm gonna cover up some redness that my face has been having so i'm gonna use the summer friday skin tint because this is like a very lightweight minimal coverage kind of product and i feel like it'll match pretty good with my tan right now but basically i've been having like a weird rash on my arm for the past two days and i think it's because i just got a shot there at the doctor's which is like concerning i don't know maybe i should be concerned i don't really know but it literally hurts and it's like warm to the touch so i'm kind of scared but we'll see one of my last video asked me what shade i was using in the dipstick and i use shade two and i think it's like the perfect summer shade for me but they have such a good variety of shades that like I think anyone can find a good shade with them. Best hydrating concealer I think I've ever tried. Like, I always go back to this one just because it's so good and, like, a little goes a long way. And it's actually, like, actually, it's actually very good at covering blemishes and, like, redness, which is, like, what I like. I just got a new iPad. It's the 10th generation, and I've been using this so much. Like, I just got the Good Notes app, and it's actually been super helpful in, like, motivating to do work. So if you guys have an iPad and you're like struggling to like motivate yourself to do schoolwork and like take notes, definitely get the Good Notes app and try it out because it's actually helped me a lot. Also, I've been going to the gym a lot more frequently lately, and I've been seeing this thing called tankinis a trend for summer. Um, immediately no, I'm not literally spending two hours a day at the gym 
working out mostly abs and legs to wear a tanky that's like a triangle like if just wear a bandana at this point because it's that's what it's giving me um they're i don't know if maybe you guys like them but personally i think they're so ugly and like i don't know to each its own i guess i low-key sounded like a hater just saying that but like i'm speaking my truth I think tank keys are not in for the summer. You know, am amateur opinion over here. But personally, um, stick with what you want to wear, ladies. If you guys want to wear tank keys, go for it. Me personally, I'll stick to my triangle tops and my bright swimwear. I just have a lot of little random side tendons to talk about. Speaking of, like, summer and, like, tanning and stuff, I think it's so weird that, like, you can't go out and tan during the eclipse because isn't the uv supposed to be like super crazy high like if you literally go tan for like 10 minutes i'm just like you're, you're gonna get such a good tan right like that's like my logic that's how i see it but like is that not how it works because i was asking my mom about it and she's like no like that's super unsafe like definitely keep your skin protected like don't do that and i'm like but why i think i'm gonna need like a scientist and like someone on tiktok to prove it that it's like really unsafe to do it because i'm about to like lay out on monday like after school and just tan because apparently the UV's gonna be like eight and nine so i need to get a good tan go am i the only one that's had jojo siwa's stupid song karma stuck in my head for the past three days straight like ever since she like started teasing about it i've had it stuck in repeat and i literally learned the dance because of how many times i've seen it like it's actually bad i don't even like the song like it's not a good song and i saw the music video yesterday and i'm literally traumatized from like her dry humping a girl um, but I'm like, Karma's a bitch. I should have known better. Like, I'm literally obsessed with that music video for no reason. I just, it, I think it's so obnoxious. It's funny. I'm very light with the mascara today because it's waterproof and it's gonna, like, be so hard to remove. But that's my makeup routine. Emma, I know you're watching this. I love you. Happy birthday. And I hope you guys have a great day. Does anyone else also think that it's really starting to feel like autumn and winter? Like this morning I woke up and it was so nice and just like cold. It wasn't like really cold, it was just chilled. And like it doesn't feel like summer anymore, it feels like autumn. Like I woke up and I had my hot coffee instead of an iced coffee. Just like the little things like that. I actually love autumn. Okay, I need to add on some sunscreen. All right, I didn't even say what we're doing today, but we're going to like a flower farm thing. It's up in Brisbane and I'm so excited to go. You can normally like pick out flowers and everything, but I think you can only do that in winter. So you can go and you can like look at the flowers, I guess. I'm not exactly sure, but we actually have to leave very, very soon. And I still don't know what I'm wearing. I just cannot come up with an outfit to save myself. So also look, my neck is like peeling from my sunburn. So I got sunburn on my neck and then it turns into like a nice tan, but it looked patchy. And now it's just like, I don't know, peeled. So... Excuse how my neck looks at the moment. The farmer, the farmer farm, the flower farm is like an hour thirty away. So, oh, it's not really like a mini road trip, but it's a far drive, which I'm really excited for because I don't know why I just love long drives. I guess I really don't have to be this rushed because it's not like we have to leave at ten thirty. That's just the time we're aiming to leave. Also, how is it that school holidays are basically over? I swear they're going so quick. So I feel like whenever you go away on the school holidays, it makes the school holidays go quicker. Even though that doesn't really make sense because you're going away, but then you're only home for one week. So it feels like it's only a week off of school. You can never get this open. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we literally go back to school in how many days? Like four days now. So now we need to do my hair. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I was thinking about leaving it down, but I definitely do not have time to do that. So... Maybe just a ponytail. I also really need to get my hair cut soon. I haven't gotten it cut since like last year. So I think we're going to do a bun instead of a ponytail because that's just going to be so much quicker. Okay, I'm going to use this little slick stick to slick back my hair. It's got to be slick stick and it's so good. We still need to find an outfit. I really want to wear pink because it's like a flower farm. So I think that's going to be like really cute if I wear pink. I have this basic like light pink tank top from glasses that I could wear but I don't really want to wear like denim with that I feel like pink and denim oh they go together but not nicely Layla said I could wear her jeans she has like these white jeans that are really nice I don't know where my like little mini rare beauty lip gloss has gone okay I guess we're gonna skip that but yes I'm gonna go quickly check in the outfit and then I'll be back to show you guys I need to finish my hair first okay that's gonna have to do for my bun that's not good 
I'm not a fan of this whatsoever, so we're gonna go find something else. I might just have to tuck on my denim skirt with this, but I don't think it's gonna look any better. That's so contradicting to what I just said, but I'm just gonna have to go with it, so that's it, and I hope you all have a great day. Hey guys, get ready with me. Okay, so I have track pictures today, that's why I curled my hair. And I'm actually gonna hairspray my curls today because I need them to stay. They usually do stay without hairspray. I just don't want to risk that today. I also had to pluck a little bit of my eyebrows because they were getting bad and I don't have time to get them done. Okay, yesterday I decided to put my LED lights back up, but whenever I had them in my bathroom, I cut them so they're a little short. So that's what they look like right now. But it's okay because I'm gonna like order more. Anyways, I have like a million tests this week and that's like not cool. It's kind of annoying. I know I have a test today, and I think I have two actually, but I didn't study for them, so I'm just gonna like pray to God that it goes well. Anyways, in summer, I'm gonna be like in Florida for three weeks, in California for two, and all I know is whenever I'm in California, I cannot post because there's no service like at where I'm going. So like, I'm gonna have to start making drafts soon to post. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to Florida for three weeks. I know I'm going with my mom and then I'm going with my dad. Birthday and TikTok Riz Party is all over my For You page. And there's like so many edits of them. It's actually making me giggle. Guys, I hate my Alexa so much. Like I want to throw her out the window. Okay, so I was curling my hair this morning and I asked her to play like the same song at least 10 times. And the whole time, like it went silent, like she didn't play it at all. So I was curling my hair in silence this whole morning and it was so freaking annoying. And whenever I went to do my lashes off camera, I asked her to play a song again and she's still not working. Anyways, guys, I'm going to try to start posting like three times a day because I want to be more consistent or two times. But yeah, because I feel like I don't post as much as I used to do. Like at the beginning of the year, I made a get ready for me at least every day. Anyways, my flippin' Invisalign bump things are cutting the inside of my mouth. They hurt so bad, like, to the point where I just, like, want to freaking die. Okay, that's dramatic. Whatever. Alright, bye guys. This is not a false alarm. We have got a new bronzing drop to try. I've been around the block trying to find some good bronzing drops, and I'm going to be putting these Revolution ones to the test. I've got a little bit of moisturizer, and I'm going to dab this onto the face. I have tried bronzing drops that are literally so, so expensive and found they do nothing for my skin. They slide off my face and they don't even give me a good bronze. And as I've come back from holiday and my face tan is completely gone, I'm going to need something to give me a bronze look. Okay, so I'm just blending this out. As you can see, it's actually giving me such a nice colour. For a product under £10... Compared to ones that I've used so much more pricey. This is incredible. It's super, super blendable. And also gives you such a nice hydrated look to your skin. This has actually got hyaluronic and grapeseed oil in. So it's actually like a skincare product. But also at the same time giving you that bronze look. I'm going to put some skin silk foundation with it. And see how this looks. That is blending. So lovely. Look at that. Wow. I just popped a little bit of concealer under my eyes and this is what the finished look looks like i absolutely love this so so much and these bronzing drops are to die for you need to go get your hands on them now oh my god hey guys get ready for me for school um I need to hurry up because i spent the whole morning like my necklace got caught in my hair so i had to cut it out i don't even know okay it's 7-1 so we have like 10 minutes it's actually like kind of warm today so we're in a t-shirt which is so good because like, honestly, it's been so cold. Like, it's really April. I don't understand why it's been so cold. I think it's really just probably drops. The label is like completely gone. But yeah. the dance show last night was really fun. Even though I literally messed up my dance like so badly. But like, it's fine. I'm so tired this morning though. I didn't fall asleep till like 12. And I don't think I have any tests today though. Oh wait. Yes, I do. Sorry. I have like a big AB world quiz. And it's on like something I wasn't there for. Because I had to miss school history for dance. Um, so that kind of sucks. We're also using the Berry Brit Blush from Frilliance. I really need to go. I just do like that much. And then I'm also going to mix in some highlight with it. Okay, it's 7 okay, So we have about one minute. I'm gonna go. I'm using Glossy Lash Lift because it's just so good. It just makes your lashes look like so natural and like 
separate it's just like perfect for school okay it's 7 16 we're running a lot behind schedule but you can go one size and it's okay okay we gotta go my mom's gonna hit me um bye guys have a good day Good morning everyone, let's get ready to go out for lunch. I feel like I haven't filmed to get ready with me in so long. I'm going out for lunch with my mum and my nana and we're going somewhere in Brisbane, I'm not sure where. These bronzing drops are literally insane. They're the ultraviolet ones. I genuinely think these are better than the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops. I didn't even know if I filmed to get ready with me since I got the Rare Beauty bronzer, but I told myself that I wouldn't like get it dirty and I'll keep it so clean. Yeah, now it looks like that, so... <laughs> I haven't been able to talk about scissor because we only just surprised Lou and Lucy yesterday with it. But oh my god, I'm so excited. Like I feel like I only just said it when we told Lou and Lucy, like, oh my god, we're actually going to scissor. All four of us did try getting tickets, but we just didn't get them. But I'm so, so grateful to Beginning Boutique for taking us to scissor. If you told me a year ago that I would be going to a concert with the brand, I would not believe you. It's just insane. I cannot comprehend it. Oh my god, the new Rare Beauty blushes. They look phenomenal. One of my friends got one, so I'm waiting for her to try it out. If she says it's good, I'm going to get one. It looks beautiful. I can't get anything out. Does this happen to anyone? Like, it's on, on, and yet nothing's coming out. I said a week ago that this is, like, on the verge of running out, and I still got a tiny bit left, but not much. So I'm also going to put on my Summer Fridays lip balm. Oh my god, I forgot about lashes. I don't even know how I skip lashes. I feel like it makes the biggest difference. All right, for hair, I'm going to slick it back into a bun. And I've been wearing my hair curly a ton recently down. And I've really been enjoying it. I never used to really wear my hair, like, down curly much. I might have to wet it again because it's, like, starting to dry. Hair is, like, kind of sick back. But this is the best slick back, like, product ever. I had to show you guys. It is the Got To Be one. Sold at price. So, well, at least that's where I found mine. All ready now. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye, everyone. Hey guys, get ready with me to go back to school. I haven't done these heatless curls on my short hair yet, so let's see. Hey, these turned out really good. You guys, I really, I really do not want to go back to school. Barely got any sleep. I only got like five hours of sleep last night because I procrastinated my schoolwork until the last minute. I'm super glowy today. You guys, at least I got like a tan. And that was like one of my main goals for spring break. And my spring break tan is like the start of my summer tan. So I just keep getting tan from now. But this week is spirit week and today's pajama day. I don't really know why we have spirit week. We usually do it whenever there's like a big game at the end of the week. But I don't want to do too much makeup because I feel like I look better with a tan. Okay, so today's spirit week is pajama day. And I have an idea of what I want to wear. Obviously, I can't wear this because I'm going to get dress coded. I just want to wear something super comfortable. I did get these blue and white striped like linen pants from Brandy yesterday. I think I'm going to wear those, but I need to find a top. But I'll just let Alexa choose. You guys, I keep seeing prom dress transition videos on my For You page, and I love watching them. They're, like, my favorite videos to watch right now. And, like, the Easter brunch dresses and then, like, the prom prom dresses. If I were going to prom this year, I don't even know which one I would choose to wear because I like both styles of dresses so much. I practice after school. This used to stay all day. I have no idea why, but I have this thing where if I'm not doing anything productive or if I'm not working on anything, like it was kind of hard telling myself not to do anything over spring break and just like relax and not worry about school because I like being super busy. But for some reason, I was like stressing over about my future and like what career I want to do. I don't know why I was stressing so much. Finally got a new brow gel. Instead of the clear one, I got a tinted one. Oh my gosh. So apparently there's supposed to be a solar eclipse today. I don't get why everyone is like super freaked out about it. I don't know if I should do like the PJ day thing because it's the first day back from spring break and I gotta be like, oh yeah, that's me, you know, fresh new haircut, new tan. I gotta look good. But also I can't miss the opportunity to wear pajamas. So I guess we'll make it cute or whatever. Anyways, I think I'm done. You guys, I really, really don't want to go to school. I'll show you guys my pants and then my top options. Okay, these are the pants that I got. They're super cute, like linen pants. First option is this white top. I have like a little matching moment and wear this blue top. Alexa, choose a number between one and two. It's two. Okay, this is the outfit. Just throw on this little jacket. 
I think it's like pajama y but still cute. It might change like last minute. And also, I really want to wear this perfume, but like the sprayer broke. So if anyone knows how to fix that, let me know. I'm just going to use like this mini one. It's like the black opium perfume. I really want to get a full size. If today's your first day back, I hope it was good. Have an amazing day. Bye. I love you guys. Hey guys, get ready with me to go shopping. And I'm going to let you in on our surprise. My friend Haley's birthday is next weekend. And we're surprising her with tickets to Two Step In, which is a huge country concert. And one of her favorite singers is going to be there. Basically, our whole friend group is going. And as of right now, she thinks she's the only one who can't go. We know she's going to get a ticket. But we feel so bad because we keep talking about it in front of her. Her birthday party is Friday. And Two Step In is that Saturday and Sunday. We're spending the night and then we'll wake up and go. And the best part is her mom's friend is in on it. And so Haley thinks she's going to have to babysit that that Saturday. So when she opens her ticket, she will be hopefully so surprised and excited. She always loves to be prepared, so we don't want her to have a heart attack when she opens it. So our friend Liv is taking her tomorrow to go get an outfit for it. She's just telling her that it's rush outfits for next year. I'm going with two of the other girls going right now to get their outfits. I, I already ordered all of mine. I also have to do some exchanges. I don't know if I should post this video now or after her birthday. I would just have to block Haley for like a week. I don't really know what to do. Like, do I tell her and then block her? Or do I just block her? Because if I tell her I'm blocking her, then she might snoop. But if she tries to go to my account and it's not there, she might snoop even more. If you're seeing this before any two-step and post, then I blocked her. If you're seeing it after any two-step and post or, like, a day before or something, then I I made this video a week ago. Oh, no, I just don't want to ruin her surprise. But nobody go tell her. All right, makeup is done. I'm going to go get dressed and fix my hair. Bye, guys. Love you. It's currently 7.28. Get ready with me for school. I have to leave by 7.45, so that means I have at least 15 minutes to get ready. I didn't have that much trouble waking up today, but I still feel really tired. I'm having such a busy week, though, because I'm leaving for the lake on Thursday, and so I'm having to get all my schoolwork done before that. I'm super excited, but my brain will physically not let me go on a weekend trip if I don't finish all my homework for the weekend. But I had extra the amount of work because last night I opened my group project and realized no one had done anything at like 8 p.m. And it's due today in two hours. It's due at 9 o'clock in the morning today. And I hate getting on people's asses about doing their part because I don't want to be that bitch that's hunting people down trying to get their shit done. I don't know, it just annoys me so much to have to do that, but I'm also not going to get a bad grade because of somebody, like, I don't even know, so. Once I sit down in my first class, I'm going to check and see how it's going, but there's not much I could do about it now. I have such a bad runny nose right now, it's literally disgusting. I don't know if I just, like, developed adult pollen allergies or what, but I used to never be allergic to anything. I'm just confused why I'm all of a sudden affected by allergy season when I used to never be. It's 7.35, by the way. I think it's fun to have timestamps just because I'm challenging myself to be ready on time. It's like a fun game. Will I be late or no? I usually am never really late. I don't like being late for stuff, but I do speed walk to class. I don't have any caffeine today. I didn't make a coffee this morning, so I might have to obtain one on campus. I recently discovered loaded teas and they have a tea truck on campus. Drained my dining dollars immediately. They're so good though. I know they're not that good for you, but boy, does it taste like it is. I feel so pale right now. Bronzer is the answer. I wonder how many of these 8 a.m.s I have left. Probably not that many. It's only twice a week, so that's good. It'll just be insane when I make a get ready with me in the morning and I actually have energy. All right, makeup is done and it's 7.42, which means I have three minutes to spare. I love you guys and I hope you have a great Wednesday. Talk you through the process of getting your lips tattooed, like mine. This is actually called lip blush and I went to Liverpool to get it done. So one of the questions I get asked is how did I know which colour to choose? And basically what I did is I went on the girl's page who did mine and she'd done a girl and I liked the colour so I just sent that as a reference. What some people do is they just show the go-to lip liner and that's what they get done. Does anybody just not know when to say bye to their old beauty blender? Like I am not cleaning that, look how dirty that is. And I literally had two fresh beauty blenders but I've just been holding it off. I'm just like no, no, no. And today I finally opened a new one. When I arrived I got sat down and... They put the numbing cream on my lips and I was literally sat there for like 10 minutes and then I went into the room. And once you lay down, your lips will get lined out. So they'll line it out, show you what the shape will be like and you'll be like, yeah, that's fucking amazing, I'll have that. And then they'll just start tattooing your lips and you won't feel anything. I didn't feel anything. I mean, other people's experience might be different but the numbing cream will literally the shit.
it was crack. Isaac, can you say hi? I just caught him waking up from his nap, bless him. So the whole process, I'd literally, I wouldn't even say it was painful. I mean, at certain parts, it might have been a bit uncomfortable. You know when you pop a spot around your outline of your lips and it's really painful? That's what it'd feel like when you were getting tattooed around the edges. Would you like some water? Yeah. Yeah. Okay then, drink out of this straw. Mm. Well done. And like I said, the numbing cream were quite strong, so I didn't really feel all, but towards the end when it was starting to like wear off, I'd feel it maybe for like the last 20 minutes. And then once it's done, your lips feel like really tight and you have to drink through a straw and try not to touch your lips. You don't want to get them wet. I think that's for like five days. You can't use sunbeds either. Oh, so sad. And while they're healing for like the first week, they do peel, but I didn't know they peeled. But then when I got my six week top up, I wouldn't say they peeled like the first time, if that makes sense. I don't know why they didn't, they just didn't peel as much. But yeah, honestly, I'd recommend it so much, 10 out of 10. I'm going to book in for my top up. You can wait like a year for your top up, but I'm just very high maintenance and I need everything to be perfect at all times. And I don't want it to fade or anything, especially because I use some, but it can fade. Can we say bye? Bye, bye everyone. Say love you. Bye. Well done. <laughs> oh. mm. I'm going to school. And I'm going to cry. So do my skincare with me. So do my skincare with me because ain't nobody got time this morning to be putting on makeup. This like snail skid mark stuff, whatever it is, is seriously the best stuff to ever be invented. Like this is right under queso for me. Ordinary serum because I'm just an ordinary girl. Sometimes I'm lazy. Sorry. So y'all know I missed school yesterday to watch the eclipse in Arkansas and I'm not excited about doing my makeup work. I think I'm just, eh. what I was saying was I think I'm just going to cruise through today and actually start trying probably tomorrow or like next week. Also, I forgot to tell y'all, I can't believe I haven't even talked about it. I, I have prom this weekend in like three days. So y'all be getting plenty of transitions. Watch me like look ugly, but you know, I'm I'm gonna try. I mean, try to look cute, that is. I figured out how to get the Goldie dress to like look decent. And I love them now. And this looks so weird. I needed to wash my hair tonight, but like we have a weight room tomorrow and I'm gonna get all sweaty, so I don't do that. But then we have cheer practice the next day and I'm gonna get sweaty, so I don't wanna wash it then. Then we have weight room, then we have cheer, then we have weight room. But there's never a good time to wash my hair. So I just don't know. I just be slicking it back like every day. Okay, I'm finna line my lips and leave. I look so like radiant in this mirror, but I'm really not this radiant in like real life. So if y'all are like, this girl looks like greasy. Honestly, I don't even care because I would rather be greasy, hashtag glowy, than look dead. I'm sorry, that actually made zero sense. I'm really tired if you can't tell. Okay, I just added some YSL lip oil, but the clip got cut. So you don't get to see me put it on today. Bye. Hey guys, get ready with me for a bit. So if you couldn't tell, I just put on a face mask. And you're probably wondering, what was that? What face mask was that? It was a horse. The eyes were like here. So. But get ready with me for the night. You're a bit wonky. Okay, so we're seeing a different angle right now because I thought it's just a bit boring like putting you there. So I just thought I'll put you on this other little mirror I have and stick you on there because I have that sticky thing. So hopefully it does not fall. I'm going to use my Glossy Avocado Serum. So guys, what have you been doing today? Because I didn't do really much anything today. But I did go around my nans to just put around there and have like... Just put around there, you know what I mean? Just see my nan and granddad. I, even though I did see him yesterday, it's just went over there. I then came back and my dad oh, set it, set it, is that how you say it? Set it up my bars like gymnastics bars because i used to do gymnastics but then i gave up but i still do it in my back garden because i have like loads of gymnastics stuff like a beam trampoline 
and gymnastics bars and then i have like air tracks like you know the things what you can do all flips on but yeah i have my dad set up them the gymnastics bars it's it's like a tornado outside but i know england doesn't have that thank god but it's like really windy outside so yeah but continue my conversation what i was having um yeah um i had a kfc i love a kfc some people don't like the new kfc chips because they're like more seasoned but i personally love them curling your eyes real quick why is my eye watering right okay this already went quite quick but Last thing I'm going to use my Linnage lip mask. Guys, I need to get another one of these when I run out. If you want to try the, some new ones, I haven't tried yet. Only if the UK came out with the cotton candy Linnage lip lip mask. And like the new sweet candy and vanilla um, lip balms. But I would love to try them. But I've been looking, like, waiting on my UK Sephora app, like, waiting to see if the Laneige things pop up. Nope, hasn't done it yet. So annoyed, but it is what it is, and that is the end of my Get Ready Me. Bye, guys.